Gray, what have you heard about the Gina Carano case that's been happening right now? I, I, heard, I, heard, it's move, I heard it's moving forward. And uh, I, I'm not sure about the legalities. I didn't, I didn't look it up anymore. But it, are people saying that Gina Carano now has a legal right to present her um, the emails? Being, the, the, is that what it's being meant by the, um, the news? Like she, um, she can, because, because like if she shows it now without any legal um without legal processing going on, she could get sued. Is that is that why? Is that is that the development now that now that she can present it to the public without any legal scrutiny? I think that's what people are saying. I think that's my interpretation. I'm not sure. So according to what I heard, Disney wants the case to be dismissed. It's because it's like, oh, it's it's bullshit, and you know, it, she doesn't have anything. And then the I guess yeah. the judge um appears to side with Gina Carano. So this comes to us from that park place. Shout out to that park place right over here. Judge appears to side with Gina Carano against Disney's attempt to dismiss case, but no official ruling announced yet. So we're going to hear more. U.S. District Judge Sherilyn Peace Garnett appeared to side with Gina Carano and her lawyers against the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilms attempted to, to dismiss her case. Right. And the thing is, that I, I like Disney doesn't want this to go to trial. They don't want it to go to trial because if it, if it if it does, they will look extremely, really, really bad, right? They'll look really, yeah. really bad for firing her. And the thing is, they will want to settle. But I yeah. would, I, I think that Gina is gonna be like, no. Yeah, that, that's what I think too. That's exactly what I think too. It's like, okay, we'll pay you a shit ton of money, just let the slide. But the thing is, yeah, Gina will probably say no. And um, what do you call this? Uh, she's backed by Elon, so whatever the cost yep. is going to be, Elon's going to it's a drop in the bucket for Elon, yeah, yeah. See, Carano filed her lawsuit against the W, uh, Warner Brother, not Warner Brother, Walt Disney Company back in February. <laughs> we pursued deals telling it is a civil action arising from defendants' wrongful termination of Carano's employment and in sorry, in retaliation for Carano's lawful exercise of her right to speak and express her views. Specifically, defendants under the regime of former Disney CEO Bob Chapek fired Carano because of her posts um, on various social media platforms, including X, formerly known as Twitter. Carano composed and published the posts while she was off duty and away from the workplace. The suit also alleged the defendant's termination, I'm uh, sorry, terminated uh, Carano's employment and took other retaliatory, <laughs> as I said it right, actions to limit and deny her future employment opportunities, including but not limited to making maliciously false statements about Carano with the intention of damaging her reputation and thus her ability to find and retain work. She was, I believe, a lot of her sponsors and even her agent dropped her. So yeah, it's that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to cancel her. But the thing is, like we mentioned before, uh, Pedro Pascal did the exact same thing. He got praised for it. Did not get reprimanded or no repercussion help came to his way, which is a uh, double standard. And mm -hmm. if you think about it, sexist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can see uh, Gina Carano uh, not settling. I can see Gina Carano potential. I really, really hope this it, this is filmed. This is televised. Like, oh if yeah, it's televised. Good. Yeah. I, I, if if it's like my sleeping hours, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll go live just to see it live. <laughs> I'll, I'll yeah, up, just so you can see it live. It's like, yeah, it's gonna be like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard big for sure. Yeah, for sure, that'd yeah. be crazy. Yeah. It also stated defendants. Uh, yeah, right here. A uh, defendants treated Carano differently than her similarly situated male coworkers who likewise expressed their personal political views on social media, but upon information and belief, were not. Uh, counseled or disciplined, let alone terminated. Uh, lawsuits specifically accused the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm of wrongful discharge, wrongful discharge and refusal to hire and sex discrimination. There it is. Carano is also uh, asking for preliminary and permanent injunctive relief requiring defendants, uh, defendants to reinstate Carano to a prior position with no loss of pay or benefits. A judgment declaring that defendants' termination of Carano's employment was unlawful and in violation of California's law. Compensatory, sorry, compensatory damages, including but not limited to the loss of pay from the date of termination to the date of reinstatement in an amount determined at the trial, but exceeding 
thousand dollars compensatory uh, damages uh, for loss for future employment, including but not limited to comp uh, so promise row of Rangers of the New Republic. That that show would have been so good, dude. Yeah, that would have been, that show would have been amazing. Yeah. See, uh, emotional distress uh, damages in the amount to be deter uh, determined in trial, punitive damages in the amount to be determined in trial, reasonable attorneys, fees and costs, such other and further relief as a court may deem just and proper. Yeah, and the judge is basically siding with her and not dismissing this, which is really, really good. And basically, this goes on to explain more of everything of what happened with Gina Carano. But overall, this is good. Uh, we This case is not dismissed, and it's going to be good for sure. What do you think, Gray? Yeah. Maybe yeah, it's time for you know, it's 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 the people's way of fighting back too. That we're, we're not we're tired of putting up with all this BS going on with Disney. So yeah, uh, rooting for Gina. Hopefully, uh, she gets everything that she wants. It, yeah, it's I don't think she's gonna settle either. I don't think she's gonna be fine with whatever amount of money they're gonna give her. Because like at the end of the day, she's fine. She doesn't need any more money, honestly. So she's it's more of the principle now on her end. So yeah. Hope she um, actually wins. Even though it's, yeah. it's a hard battle, but I think, yeah, I still hope that she does. Yeah, I, I, hope, I hope she wins too. And uh, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting if it's actually televised. I hope it is. I really, really hope it is televised. If not, then, you know, it is what it is. But uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, other than that, uh, Godspeed. I hope, I, I, I hope they don't... They don't ruin anything or anything like that. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.